Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have like a handmade haul for you guys. So I ordered from somebody on um, Instagram and I just ordered like a whole bunch of like handmade stuff. This is only two out of like, I think six things I ordered that she... that she kind of mails them out as they are ready and complete. And I think she does like pre-orders to see like how many kits of something she has to make. Um, but the person I ordered from is called Nifty Crafty Me on Instagram, but they also have another account which is called The Happy Lil Corner. So I will have both of those linked down below in case you guys want to also order and I'll tell you guys price points. So I wanna show you guys what I purchased from her. Like I was so excited to get this and I cannot wait to use this. I need to show you guys this like today because I'm like, I want to craft with this already. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys this little blood bag first and it's, this is the Halloween thing that I purchased. So I think she had created like a whole bunch of Halloween kits and not all of them sold. So then she created like these little blood bags and this was $13 shipped. It says blood energy potion. I think it was like so creative and so cool that, um, you know, she had, named it this how do i even open this i think i just opened it through here aha okay here we are this was 13 dollars shipped again just letting you guys know and i'll show you guys all of like the little stuff that was in here oh look at this cute little spider little spidey so he's very cute and he has like a little flat back which is perfect to add to like card making or embellishments. And yes, my nails are going so great with this right now even though I gotta redo them today. Um, and he's wearing like a little witch hat so that's super cute. There's a whole bunch of like um, die cuts in here. She got some spiders. She definitely used um, like a die cutting machine with this. This is definitely not like a silhouette or anything I don't think but you got these cute little spiders um, spider webs <laughs> so I love those you got this little tombstone or a whole bunch of tombstones here we are those are the three patterns of tombstones that I got got these two little boo cutouts that I love I don't have a die like that so that's perfect then I also got some of these Halloween um, butterflies so we got four of these. I don't really, or five of these actually. I don't really craft with butterflies. It's just like not my thing, but it's there. Maybe I'll use it. Um, also got this. I wanna say this is like a rosette because it has like the lines if I wanted to fold it. Um, and I think you create like a little rosette out of this. I'm like so tempted to try. Okay, there's two of these, so let's try this because I have a rosette die and it does not look like this. All right guys, so I folded everything along the score lines. This does create a rosette, just a very big one guys. So you're actually supposed to put two of these together um, and glue them together and that creates like a rosette. If you want to just use it like this, you totally can and that's probably what I will end up doing Maybe I'll just like put it back together, but that way like a, a little bit is folded and it kind of adds a little bit more dimension. So then I'll just glue this back together. But okay, so these are little rosettes. My rosette does look like a little different than this still, so that's interesting. Then included in this was also a whole bunch of little coffins. So you get four smaller coffins. So I got two of this like bat pattern, this plaid and some stars. And then I got these bigger ones. I got a plaid, like these kinds. I don't really know what collections these are, so I can't even tell you. Um, but these are just like little bigger coffins, and these would be great to use as tags. You could just um, punch a hole in the top of these. You could add them to embellishments. I'm definitely not using all this stuff like this year, so a lot of this is going to have to wait till next year. Got these two little circle thingies um, for embellishments, and then some two bigger circles. Okay, hold on, two bigger circles, and then two more even bigger circles. Okay, so you get like six of these little circle thingies, two of these little bag topper thingies. So you would just fold them in half, and these are cute little bag toppers that you put on top of a bag. We got some more of these circles. Got these Halloween word dies. 
um, super cute. I wish I kind of like had the file though so I could prop them up on some foam. That would be awesome because I would love to do that but I don't have this dot. Actually, maybe I do. Never mind guys, no I don't. But this does look similar. This is Happy Halloween from Alina Craft on AliExpress and it has that little um, same face as for the O. It's just this one is smaller and this one is bigger. So maybe that's like a die from Alina Craft. I don't know. This also creates a rosette. This is the rosette die that I have, but mine is still longer than this. I don't know if she cut it in half. I feel like mine is like literally that long. Um, maybe these are just super tiny little rosettes. That actually might be the case. Um, so these do create little rosettes. And then I think the sequins are my favorite part. This is like a perfect Halloween mix. You got these beautiful gold sequins have kind of like a border on it. They're super cute. I see some pink in here, which is interesting. Um, some little spideys in here. I love, love, love the striped sequins. Those are really cute. Um, I see also like some clear kind of sequins, like they're a little bit of see-through, kind of look like vellum. Then you got like the little white sequins. Super cute sequin mix. I cannot wait to use this. And that's it for what was in the blood bag, guys. So let me put this away and then I'll show you guys what's in the Very Merry Kit. Okay, so the Very Merry Kit came like this with this little box and then this container. Inside this container, there was like a big plastic thing around here for the container to keep its shape. But I was showing this to my boyfriend last night and I ended up taking that out because I got so excited. I haven't even like actually opened anything. I was just showing him through the plastic, but I was just like so excited. So we were FaceTiming and I'm just like showing him all the goodies that I got. So we have these cute little handmade flowers with a whole bunch of like different Christmas patterns and they're layered. I think there is three in here. So those are super fun. Got this sequin mix, kind of reminds me of Valentine's Day instead of Christmas, but it's um, red, pinks, like a clear. I love this like super detailed sequin um, sequins that she has, like the gold and like the holographic ones. Those are super cute. I'm gonna have to go onto AliExpress and do some shopping and find those. She also has these handmade flowers. They're just a different style than the other ones. And this one comes in a pack of four. You got these little things. Um, they're kind of like wire things. So if I was to make a flower, I could put one of these like in the middle. My Halloween nails are definitely not working with the Christmas stuff right now, but I gotta paint them today. So um, in this little thing, we have these two little ornament things and you could put them on a tag or whatever. And these cute little um, candy canes. And I got four of those. In the kit are also some handmade rosettes that she made. Now, this is like what I really wanted the most, I want to say, only because I tried to make these myself and I cannot make them for the life of me. So I'm going to like observe these and <laughs> try to make my own. I only have orange crepe paper, but um, I really wanted to be able to make some of my own. So I'm going to like look at these, maybe take one apart or something that I end up not using and try to make my own. Like I've watched tons of tutorials on YouTube and I cannot figure it out for the life of me. Um, anyway, but you get two of these green ones. You got some of these blue ones, some of these red ones, some white ones, and then these like super cute um, rose gold ones. Like these are mad mad pretty crepe paper so got some of those in here we got a whole bunch of these die cuts so i guess this is similar to what was in the blood bag just um i want to say christmas themed because i do see the little rosettes and stuff i don't know what these little guys are for but i'm guessing if there's like a bow die in here that would be for that so we'll see we have these little rosettes oh this time we got two so if i wanted to make a bigger one I can. Oh, it looks like she double cut them. Like um, she just maybe folded the paper in half and then cut two at a time. Great thinking. Okay, so we got this pattern. Oh, I love this little candy cane pattern. That one's really cute. Okay, so we have some of those. We got some more of these circle things and a whole bunch of like different Christmassy patterns. And this one, we got some stars. Okay, so these are great to like 
create anything, add to cards or whatever. Super cute. This one could go on like a little handmade Christmas tree. You got these little small teeny doilies. These are actually mad cute. Gosh, I'm going to need to go like AliExpress shopping because I need some little doilies. I don't have these little teeny doilies. Um, I need to go to AliExpress shopping, guys. All right, so we got those little stars that I showed you guys. Ooh, bigger doily. So I guess it's a set. Like, maybe it's a bigger doily set and a smaller doily set. But really cute. Super intricate um, uh, cutting. We got this one. Just a sleigh bells, holiday cheer, ho, ho, ho. And just, like, all that stuff, fun stuff. This little striped one. I love, love, love this candy cane one. Ooh, this one's really pretty too. It's like a red with like a white, um, white glittery kind of polka dots. Ooh, here are the bows. I knew it. There had to be bows in here. So you create your little um, bows with these guys. So these are the background pieces and then these ones you would curl and fold. So I'll probably just put these together so that I have them for my crafty projects. These little rosette things, I'll probably just put these together too. Lots of crafting to do. Um, you get these little bag toppers. So I have a whole bunch of these. We got five of these little bag toppers. And I showed you guys the doilies. Then I don't know, I don't think this was part of the set because it doesn't look Christmassy at all. I think she just included it. I don't want to say that for sure though. I'm not entirely sure, but um, she sent these bag toppers. They're so pretty guys. I wonder if she made these. She had to have made these, but they're really cute. Um, so she used like these doilies and just layered um, a couple of doilies together. And then she layered um, these designs on top. We've got some foam and everything. Um, but yeah, love this life. Super cute. Um, then here's another one that she had made. This one says happy little moments with some butterflies and some of these heart, I want to say heart enamel um, sticky thingies um, and just a whole bunch of layering. Very, very pretty guys. And this is actually great inspiration for me because I haven't made any back toppers myself yet. So great inspiration. And then this one also some flowers, delight in the everyday moments, um, these little hearts again in pink this time, a little flags in the background. Um, very, very cute guys. So she included those as well. Now let me show you guys what's in this little box that also came in my package with the Very Merry kit. I love that it comes in a box, super cute. I actually reached a uh, message her because I thought these were like handmade and I recently bought like the heartfelt creations things like, well not that recently, like a couple months ago over the summer and I have yet to use them and I was like oh my gosh did you create them with the heartfelt creations and she said no um, but it inspired me to actually like try um, my heartfelt creation things out because these are gorgeous guys um, so I definitely want to create some of my own but yeah you got some of these little flowers in here you have another sequin mix this one is more Halloween like some green glitter sequins in here. Oh my gosh, I need to go on a sequin shopping hunt. And I literally just organized all of my sequins, so I really shouldn't, but I don't know, guys, I might have to. But to kind of justify it to myself, I did order two more cases of like the sequin thing because I was allowing myself to like grow in case I have get more sequins to like still be able to organize it. So I ordered like two extra cases that aren't even going to be filled yet. Um, so technically I could allow myself to grow with some glitter sequins that I could order. <laughs> anyway, so then in here we got these cute little beads and these are going to be perfect for when I just, um, make like some tags or something. So you got these two, you have this one, this little green one. Um, you have two of these like bigger, like red ones. These are all like pretty big. Then you got this little bell. This one's such a pretty color. It's like a turquoise -y. You also have that one in red. Then you have these little beads. Let me just get these out to show you guys. So you got these little beads that you could attach to stuff. See, I don't really know how to do beads. Do I um, put twine through it? I don't really know. Like the bells, I got that. Like 
I could attach like a little, um, I don't know what it's called, like little chain things that go on necklaces. I don't know what they're called though, but I could attach those to that and I could attach that to this little cute little tassel. So adorable. And then you got these little bows, a whole bunch of these little um, material bows I think she created. I'm pretty sure she created those because I saw a post on her Instagram. And then you also got this snowflake charm. That's going to be so fun to use. You have this little mitten. Oh, I think that's from Alina Craft. I think I saw those um, on Alina Craft on AliExpress. And these little candy canes. Oh my God, these are like bendy. That's interesting. Um, I don't know what these are. Are they edible? No, I don't think they're edible. Maybe they're erasers? No, I don't know. But they're really cute because you could just add these to decorations and like glue them onto a card or whatever it is. So that's it guys. That's what was in my like everything. I think it was like totally worth the 30 bucks. You got a whole bunch of stuff that I don't need to sit here cutting out, but I can sit here and put together. Like that's just super easy. I mean, cutting out is super easy for me too. I just don't have all of those super cute dies. So sometimes you could just buy from somebody else that does it for you and voila, especially the rosettes guys. I cannot do rosettes and these flowers are like super cute. So anyway guys, that's everything that I got between the Very Merry kit and the Halloween um, blood bag. That's everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will have all the information linked down below for you guys in case you guys are interested in also buying some die cuts and things like that. So check the description box and I will see you guys in my next video. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.